everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts. Hey, you know, a lot of times when I come to you with videos, it's because I have a certain scenario happening in the studio. Well, today I have a scenario and I wanted to make you guys aware of something that I sell a lot of here at MK Quilts. And if you're a new follower, you may not uh, be tuned in with how I load quilts here at MK Quilts. So on my YouTube channel, which you can find the link in the bio, there is a video of mine and it's about a 45 minute video just giving you a heads up also giving you a heads up that I look kind of ridiculous in that video <laughs> but it is my most watched video on my YouTube channel and it basically shows you how I load quilts here at MK quilts and it uses a combination of zippers which I have already attached to my next quilt that I have coming up, a combination of these zippers and leader grips. So if you are interested in watching me on that video on how I load quilts, hop on over to that. But also I wanna make you aware of the fact that I am planning to redo that video very soon because we in the handy quilter world have had an upgrade to our tables, which allows us to have now two different formats for loading, okay? So I am still loading with the standard version here in my studio, but there's a new way, a brand new way with Handy Quilter Frames. It's called Clear View Mode. So I do plan to redo that whole entire video. But if you are interested in my zippers or the grips after you watch this brief little demonstration that I'm gonna show you, just hop on over to mkquilts.com, again, link in the bio, and you can order up the zippers, which I have already attached to these fabric tabs, making it really, really awesome and easy for you to prepare quilts so that when you're ready to load, they're ready to load and the grips. I bundle that all together over on my website, all right? Okay, I'm gonna get back. I've got a quilt that's just finishing up. It's just got a few more inches to stitch, and then I'm just gonna let the camera roll and show you how I zip one quilt off and zip the next one on, making things go very fast here at MK Quilts. Okay, stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Where am I at? Basically, this quilt has just finished stitching out. I have gone around to the back, rolled my quilt up onto my back bar, and I have unwound it one roll at a time, just making sure that everything is okay on the back. It is, and so now it's time to unzip this baby and roll it off the frame. And if you're a long armor, don't you just love that moment when you get to roll it off the frame? Okay, let me show you how easy it is with these zippers. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I am loving this beautiful patriotic quilt that I was working on today. It looks really great. All I had to do was unzip that from the front bar. And now because I'm using the leader grips, all I have to do is do this on the back and this quilt is off the frame. Just as simple as that. All right, you guys, just stay tuned. I'm gonna zip the next one on and show you how fast and easy it is. I love it. All right, here is the next quilt already ready. Just make sure that I've got the wrong side facing down. Throw this up over the back. It's all ready. And we just stick the one side into the zipper that's already 
on the frame and just zip it on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of the backing kind of ready to go. And then when I get to the part with the grips, I will show you how I do that. I guess I'm kind of making like a mini loading video today, aren't I? All right, stay tuned. All right, the dowels that belong to the leader grip system are already in my, in my back leader. And actually, the uh, dowels that I have in here are longer than the last quilt I was doing. So I'm just going to take one of those out and just readjust the length of that really quickly. And then here at the back side of the quilt, I'm just going to take the number of leader grips that it takes to fit on this quilt. And with my hands, I'm just going to go ahead and press down like that. Okay, there is another zipper on the back here because this uh, backing needs to go underneath my bar here on my handy quilter frame. So I'm just going to unzip it, put it over and under, and zip it back up. And just like that, in a matter of minutes, I have a little bit of adjusting to do, but in a matter of minutes, I've got my backing loaded. Now, I do still pin my quilt top. This is why I always keep my lovely quilting bling on me at all times. But for the backing, very fast with the zippers and the grips. All right, so if you wanna get your hands on the zipper bundle with the grips, head on over to mkquilts.com and then keep watching you guys. I'm gonna do a whole longer video on loading, how I do the batting, how I load the backing, and I'm gonna be covering both the standard and the clear view mode for our handy quilter frames. All right, thanks for joining me today at MK Quilts. Until next time, it's MK. From my studio to yours, happy quilting. Bye-bye.